Hey friends, it's Ursus Avenge. Do you remember in my last video when I said this? Speaking of next week, you and your friends have been invited to Camp Western. Spend the summer of your dreams over at Starshine Ranch. I don't know if this is an update for the summer festival, but I guess we'll find out next week. Yeah, it turns out that's exactly what we're getting. Over on Tumblr, uh, user Jorvik Zelda has found a secret page on their website. Uh, Star Stable's website to be precise. It's not currently navigatable on the website itself, but if you type in uh, the URL, which is just starstable.com forward slash camp hyphen western, you'll be brought to a brand new page uh, that is going to talk about all about this next event, which is a brand new summer event, because I don't know if you remember. Summer is the only event that has not been revamped yet. It used to be a beach event, then there was kind of like a... It was still a beach event, but it wasn't everything that it used to be. But now, we're getting something completely dedicated to Western, which is really great because I know that there are a lot of people who have been looking for an update like this for a while, or at least some sort of acknowledgement about Western riding in the game. So today we're just kind of going to go through the page, we're going to see what's happening, and I'm pretty sure that all of this stuff's going to get covered, and tomorrow most likely is next up in Jorvik, but you know, it's, it's, you gotta look at it now. It looks like, scrolling down, the event's going to start the 5th of July, which is next Wednesday, uh, and going all the way to August 2nd, so I think that's going to be four weeks. Camp Western is a brand new summer event that takes place by Starshine Ranch outside of Firgrove in an area that can only be reached by Star Riders. So, this will be a Star Rider exclusive event. Which, if you want to be a Star Rider, this is probably your best time to do it because right now it's 30% off. That's generally the best deal that they have right now. I know a lot of people try to hold out for 50%. They've already said last Black Friday that the 50% was going to probably be the last one that they do. So your best bet right now is really at the 30% off, and it's conveniently ends literally the day that the event starts. So get it now if you're not a Star Rider. Welcome to Starshine Ranch. Howdy. Leave your sneakers and slip into your yeehaw boots. Okay. This summer, Lisa Peterson, Josh, and Carl are inviting you to spend summer at the brand new event, Camp Western. Here you'll become a skilled horse trainer, take care of the ranch and its animals, and discover how no day is the same when the sharp-toothed wildlife is around. Let's create summer memories that'll last a lifetime. There's also a whole new video about this. Am I allowed to show a YouTube video in a YouTube video? It looks like this is gonna be on Star Stable's official YouTube page. It's probably privated right now. But let's take a little sneak peek. So off the bat, it's mostly just showing stuff that you can already do at Starshine Ranch. What's funny is you can tell that they did this before the character update, and this has obviously been in the works for a while. Okay, so it mostly just showed things that you can already do at Starshine Ranch. I'm guessing that's because, well, I don't know why that is. So nothing really new in the video. I think it was more just to show like a sense of community event sort of vibe, because there were a lot of people in the video. Scrolling to about halfway down on the page, um, the four weeks of the event are already highlighted for us. Week one, this is Ranch Life. Welcome to the premiere week of Camp Western. Lisa, Josh, and Carl will show you around the ranch, the daily chores, and all of the wonders of the dangers of Fir Grove. Whether you're wandering the wilds or working on the ranch, it's only a matter of time before you'll stumble across trouble. Plus, get your hands on the new Western sets to make sure your uniform matches the ranch. Okay, so all new Western style outfits and tack will be releasing on week one, and it looks like we'll probably have some introductory quests. Week two, show the ropes. Life at the ranch is not only about completing chores and exploring the wilderness. Introducing lunging, become a skilled horse trainer with the public prototype of lunging. When you have some time off, don't forget to browse the new Western saddlebag equipment and feathery friends. We are getting new pets, which I think was previously spoiled. Check out CC Creations for spoilers if you're into that. I'm not gonna share the spoilers here, but they do a really great job with their videos. And we also get new saddlebag equipment, so that'll be exciting. We're gonna get back to lunging. That's gonna be a new um, riding style that we'll be able to experience in the game. Kind of like how we had dressage in the spring event, which is very exciting. I'm glad that they're putting different types of riding in the game in different ways. It's very exciting to see. Week three, wary visits. By now you know your way around the ranch. You've strengthened your relationship with the horses. Now we'll all be put to the test. The ranch dog and the barn cat have run off to, into the wilderness and have their own adventures. Help each other out to find their hiding spots and their secret requirement for two new furry companions. Interesting. I don't 100% know what that means. I'm guessing that doing a quest will unlock two new purchasable pets. 
maybe you'll be able to buy the, the cat and the dog if you complete their quests. Maybe, maybe do reputation. The last summer event had a dog that you could unlock using reputation, or I mean, it maybe it wasn't like reputation. It was like um, you had to go back and help the dog and take care of it every day to unlock the dog. Maybe it's something like that. And finally, week four, calling all cowgirls. It's the last week of the ranch vacay and your last chance to become a real cow girl. Okay. The wilderness around the ranch is full of ranchers and thrill seekers in need of help. Meanwhile, over at Fort Pinta, riders have gathered to celebrate a permanent release of a classic beach race. And I've seen people speculate that this means that the special summer race, the beach race that happened during the last summer event, will be a permanent race that you can do any day because we're not they're not doing the beach festival anymore. We're doing we're doing Camp Western. Okay, so let's talk about lunging. That is the new activity for this event. Life at the ranch is not only about completing chores and exploring the wilderness, it's also closely connected to training your horse. We're introducing a new feature, lunging. In this form of training, the horse is tasked to perform certain gates in different circles around your character. You'll be able to both train your own horses and horses of the ranch who just might be less disciplined and not so willing to listen to cues. Interesting, I don't really know a whole lot about lunging, but I am excited to learn. <laughs> they did mention that it is a prototype uh, earlier in week two. They mentioned it's a public prototype. Uh, so it's probably gonna have some bugs, just kind of like how Dressage did. They're still perfecting it. It's not about releasing something that's not finished. They're testing something to see if we like it as players so they can implement it further into the game. This is a limited time event. So I think it makes sense for them to play around and kind of push the envelope of the things they can show us and give us so that we can eventually see these things and better versions in the game's future. Uh, wary visits around Fir Grove. Cowboy hats are disappearing, farm animals are lost, and hikers are joining the campfire. At Camp Western, you must be prepared for the unexpected. Every day there are multiple things happening and people will need your hand in solving them. You may even get some rewards that will help you better survive the Western Wild. Sometimes you might need to support from other players to find things hidden in the woods. Therefore, we've expanded the global chat to color cover all of Fir Grove and the surrounding wilderness. So when you call for help or ask other players outside of the area, you're in. Okay, so... It looks like there's going to be kind of daily helping missions or searching missions, kind of like how in the winter we had to go look for like the snow piles. There might be different dailies happening in Furgro for us to check out, which is pretty cool. And as far as expanding global chat, that's probably just to help people when they inevitably have questions. No matter where you are in Fur Grove. Summer's coat variations. Summer coatings, anyone? Three of our favorite horses will get fresh coat variations for you to choose from. The Appaloosa will be accompanied by the Belgian Warmblood and the Welsh Pony at Starshine Ranch. And don't miss the unique coating in the Star Stable Horses app. So we're getting some new coats for these horses, which is pretty exciting. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Western clothing, there is, there's gonna be a bunch of new clothing items. So I'm excited to go shopping. Uh, and finally, token and gold nuggets, summer tokens, finite and trades for outfits, pets, and high value items. Gold nuggets would be infinite and trades for consumables and summer tokens. So basically this is just explaining that we will be using summer tokens again for this event. And gold nuggets are probably gonna be similar to our rainbow gold nuggets. I don't know how we'll be gaining them, but it looks like you'll be able to get as many as you can per day but you will be able to trade the gold nuggets for summer tokens 10 times a day. So you can only get a certain amount of summer tokens by doing your quests and your other dailies, but gold nuggets will be a renewable resource that you can just keep collecting and then trading them in for summer tokens when you inevitably run out of ways to get summer tokens. It looks like that is all we have. That is a lot to chew on. Do you see this hat? I want this hat. I need this hat. It's so flipping cute. What the heck? Anyways, I think that's also probably gonna cover the next up in Jorvik. Uh, I mean, there's usually those, they'll show us the next four weeks and if this starts next week, yeah, I think that covers next up in Jorvik too. Well, anyways, I just wanted to quickly go over uh, this cool find. I will leave a link to this site and a link to the Tumblr user in the description. Make sure you follow them. Check out the page for yourself. Let me know which week you are most excited for in the comments. And I guess with that, I'll see you guys at Starshine Ranch next week. Bye.